I'm going to show you how to play the chaos game. It's very simple to play, but it has an extraordinary outcome. I begin with a big sheet of paper with three large points marked on it, labeled one and two, three and four, five and six. Now what I do is I choose a point at random on the sheet of paper. I'll shut my eyes to do that, and now I'll just wiggle the pen around and dab a point. There it is. That's my starting point. So now what I do is I roll the die, and it comes up with a four. So what I do is I go halfway from my first point to the big point labeled three and four. I'll mark that new point. That's my new point. I roll the die. This time it comes up with a five. So I go halfway from my new point to the big dot marked five and six. And I mark that point on the piece of paper. Now, of course, if you do this, you should use a ruler and do things accurately. You need to play it for about 24 hours or longer, and you need to play very fast. And now I roll the die. And this time it comes up with a three, so I go halfway from my new point to the big dot mark three, and that'll be about here. Now, of course, if you keep on doing this for a long time, what would you expect? You'd expect that you'd get an enormous mess of dots. But that's not what happens. Something very extraordinary and different happens. Speed up the game on a computer, and this emerges. The Chaos game has produced a complex and ordered geometrical structure. The revolutionary idea that a chaotic process can give rise to order is destroying old definitions of chaos we've clung to for centuries.